Hello and welcome back to part 2 of the Ocrylysis and this morning I received the ball joints I've ordered for the rudder linkage and uh, I thought to myself let us install the ball joints and then uh, present it to the viewer but sometimes reality punch your face and it uh, did happens well the setup I made with the uh, linkage and uh, the 1mm brass, brass rod uh, works fine until I installed the uh, bull joints and as you can see they are quite large and so uh, it didn't fit anymore so I ever made the setup uh, it didn't work anymore so what I did is maybe the worst case scenario can ever do I cut out a huge chunk of wood there on the uh, fourth keel and under the deck and there I set up the, the servo and I didn't screw it on because it will be covered from the deck so whatever happens to the servo it happens I cannot fix it anymore uh, but this is a Metal Gear uh, servo and uh, I think the hours I will use this model is uh, so small uh, that um, maybe it's a long term f uh, fit well as you can see the rudder works now really fine and uh, we have quite an angle it moves and uh, so with that I don't have any problems so problem solved with the rud uh, rudder linkage and uh, let us continue with the tray for the batteries uh, ESC and all the other components and then maybe start with planking the model how are we gonna do this that we will see in the following video
Well, the next thing what you're expecting to see is that I start plunk the hull. But plunking the hull takes a little bit more than one or two days. And uh, my time until the next video is a little bit limit, limited. So I will completely plunk the hull in the next part. I also made my, my, my steps different from the instruction because uh, the first plank uh, has to be placed under the bulwarks and uh, is, uh, if you can see that, that's not a complete straight line so you cannot install the first plank directly under the bulwark and if you don't place the first uh, plank exactly you will later have problems to install the bul bulwarks so that's why I installed first, first the bulwarks plunk the stern uh, elevation and now I'm going to, to install the uh, 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 planks. Uh, the bulwarks and uh, also the deck are not uh, fixed. They are only nailed and uh, so it can be removed later. So uh, what I said in the first part I also will reveal, uh, reveal the, the, the secret I am planning to do with the hull. Uh, when I made the unboxing video, I had a comment from a guy from Netherlands. Uh, Hello, Keys. And uh, I told him already what I'm planning to do with this model. And uh, I think that uh, tugboats from this era has a riveted steel hull. So I'm trying to replicate a riveted steel hull. And Keys, who built the same model, it was super looking and super nice and super clean model here are some pictures uh, also had this sorts and he made some uh, uh, experiments with some uh, tape and uh, I don't know what to tool he used to replicate the rivets uh, but in the end he dismissed it I don't know why for me in my opinion what he made was really good and uh, maybe some alignments and everything w was fine well i will pick up this idea and uh, i do my own research and how to do this riveted hull so that it looks natural that's the secret about the hull i was talking in part one well so part three is all about plunking the hull and up to then stay tuned and see you there